Hello everyone, welcome back to another video carrying from how to install Power ISO. So in this video, I'm going to show you two things. First, I'm going to show you how to open and play the music files in a CD format which contains the BIN or CUE. In case you don't know or sometimes it doesn't show, then it doesn't show BIN or CUE, then you have to go to view okay go to the window exporter uh, click on the view tab and after that you have to uh, check the box file name extension if you remove it then you won't see and if you check it then you see you can see the file extensions okay and then uh, you have to do right click on any file or maybe if you don't want to do that way then you can just double click on the file all right, and then you can see you can play all right so let's say you want to play track number 20 just select it and after that hit the playhead button chapter two all right so um if you hit the play button you can play but the problem is that you can play only on the computer which has the power iso uh, application installed if you want to send to your students you want to send it as an mp3 to someone you won't be able to do that all right so that is the first thing to open and play the file inside the cd uh format uh, file right let's do this uh cd number two so double click on it and the same you can select any track and after that click the playhead button Chapter nine. okay and then you can play it but you have very little control over it for example you want to pause you want to move forward then it's extremely difficult and then this is the first things uh, about this video and now let's move to another part of this video which is to extract the files from inside the CD format into mp3 so that way you have more control over it by using the uh, media player all right so um, this uh, part two also involves the installation of a software which is called Jet Audio. So you can find the uh, Jet Audio link um, of this uh, software down below under this video. Or maybe you can, you know, go to Jet Audio website and download it from there. It's free, of course, for the basic, um, basic, let's say basic uh, Jet Audio player. All right. So now let me install this software first so double click and after that follow instruction click on yes wait All right, so here it comes okay so hit next hit uh, i accept the terms of the license agreement hit next hit next and if you remove the shortcut of the jet audio on a desktop then there won't be any uh, shortcut on the desktop but if you want to see it then just you know check the box click on next install and you have to be patient you have to wait until it's completed it shouldn't take long it takes less than a minute as i observe i have installed it several times on different computers all right so it seems that it's completed and you can remove this one otherwise it will take to the website so finish okay now you get this jet audio uh, uh, file already installed so you have to double click on this file okay and then you don't have to do anything but you have to check just one bullet okay over here right and then click on okay wait cool okay so this is the interface of the software so this is the sound control the sound control uh, slider and if you check this one it means um, this audio player will be on top of all software oh uh, you see that so if you remove it and you click on video explorer it will be behind but if you want it to be on top of other application then just check the box all right okay so you can close it no problem and then let's say you want to extract all the audio files in this cd format into mp3 so it's uh, easy peasy 
Okay, so right click on this one. First, you have to select it. Do right click and then go to power ISO and then all the way move to the right straight and go to set numbers of drives. So this is going to create the number of virtual drives depending on your desire. So in this case, because I have two CDs, I want to extract both of them. So I choose uh, um, two drives. Okay. And then you can see there are two virtual drives. So they are not the real um, CD ROM or DVD ROM. It's just, you know, the virtual so that you can use this virtual CD to place there. Okay. So let's say you want to place CD one there. Do right click. And after that, go to power ISO once again, move straight and then go to mount. It means you save it there and then go to drive E that is no media. A drive so send it there and then you have to repeat the process but this time you do with cd2 do right click and go to power iso and move straight go to mount and choose the empty virtual drive okay now as you can see okay let me maximize the interface okay go to cd1 over here you can see all the track and you look at the size it's one kilobyte so that is very small and if you copy for example and you paste it out there out here and you play it it doesn't work because there's no data there so you have to rip it into mp3 or you have to extract the mp3 from it okay so what you can do is you have to do right click on it and then go to properties and after that go to change and then click on more options and choose the word chat audio and now click OK all right so everyone pay attention very closely now you have to double click on a file okay and it won't play okay it won't play so you have to do one more time but this time you still don't have to double click just drag one file or any file and drop it on the interface okay and then um, if this um, message appears, usually it appears just once. So click on OK. And now you, you can play it. OK, you can play it. But still, the file is in the raw files, which exist only in the CD. And now it's time for you to extract it into MP3. OK, so go to this menu drop down. OK, drop down menu. Go to tools. OK, go to tools and then go to a rip cd rip cd so you can look at the shortcut key which are control plus number one okay so or you just simply go to this one drop down menu go to um tool and then go to rip cd but i prefer using shortcut key which is you know shortcut way to do things and make it think uh, make the thing work faster so control plus one okay and now don't close this one you can move it somewhere and you have in the source in the source um, folder here you have to select okay you have to select so um, you select um, dry E or dry F so dry E contains CDs 1 and dry F contains CDs 2 so select CDs 1 first so that you can extract it okay you can console and then there are two things which you uh, have to uh, put into consideration um, first the folder here so the folder here you have to find where you want to save your mp3 files that you extracted so if you don't do anything it will go to my document but I want to save it to desktop so I click on this uh, three dots option over here and then I go to desktop okay scroll down find desktop over here and then I click on make new folder so that i can name the specific folder i want so i name it uh, story central one cd one all right and click ok and now um, i have to um i have to okay do one more thing that is to uh, check the output format so i want mp3 so i have to go and select mp3 okay it should be done but this just uh, extra things you want to do which uh, is good as well so click on the name the file naming here over here 
and then click on just track number track number that's that's enough okay track number okay or maybe uh number and title but for me i prefer uh track number so it will say track one track two all right so now when you're ready okay when you're ready then click on start over here okay and now you can um hide all of these applications by going to this uh this side corner okay and now you can open this folder and you see the mp3s have been um have been being ripped okay from the cd and now you can see the file size let me do right click and choose the size okay you can see it's uh 470 kilobyte it's 1000 so it's a megabyte things like that so and then you can copy this file to your students or send to someone easily okay so if you still have questions um you may have to um rewind this video and watch it again or maybe if you you know still can't do it then you can leave the comments below this video and see you in the next video good luck and take care everybody